inspection department, if you do a renovation over 50 percent, you got to come up to the new standards of, of some sort. Mm -hmm. But um, 217,000 for investor owners, that's roughly $55,000 a piece. Mm -hmm. Um, are we talking about $110,000 houses, or, or is that on a 70000 do you know? Well, um, usually it doesn't. Uh, we have to look at the um, after rehab value of the home, and it just can't uh, exceed a certain percentage of that. And what is that, that percentage? Uh, it's usually, uh, I'm, I have to look at our uh, policy, I uh, don't want it to indicate the percentage. But, but is there a percentage that says we'll al allow you this much money based on the value of your house currently or based on the value of your, what your house will be after you make it? Well, it's, it's, um, it's, it's currently, uh, but of course we do uh, take in consideration what the after uh, rehab value will be. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ms. Cannon. No, oh, I was going to ask Ms. Mm -hmm. Cannon if she had any additional information. Help us a little I was going to ask Ms. Taylor, are those guidelines HUD guidelines that we follow or our own internal policy? They're our own internal policy. I mean, we, we set the actual uh, percentage. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, and as part of meeting the requirements of the home program, community development sets aside uh, at least 15% of the home funds for specific activities to be undertaken by a special type of nonprofit um, called a community uh, housing development organization, better known as CHODO, uh, which is a private nonprofit community based organization that has the staff and capacity to uh, develop affordable housing. The, um, these activities include anywhere from acquisition uh, to rehabilitation, new construction, and direct um, financial assistance to purchasers. Community development designated uh, Kingdom Community Development um, to uh, serve as a CHODO for the reporting period uh, to continue, continue developing affordable housing units in the Balsawa subdivision. Um, this project is located off the Chapel Hill Road in the Spring Lake area. Uh, the entire project will consist of 28 units uh, once completed. However, during the reporting period, uh, Kingdom Community Development developed two housing units, uh, which brings the total um, up to four units that has been used, um, that has been built using home funds. HUD also allows CDBG uh, funds to be used for a wide range of public services activities, including but not limited to education, employment services, uh, homeless activities as such. Um, through an RFP process, community development selected Better Health of Cumberland County to provide uh, prescription medications and dental extractions, and they were able to serve uh, 425 individuals through this program. Also, community development selected Cumberland County Medication Access uh, Program uh, to provide prescription medication. They were able to serve um, over 5,000 individuals um, in both programs, the um, qualified applicants had to be uh, low to moderate income persons. In addition, the community development also used the CDBG funds to um, match the, ES, the activities and, um, that were um, provided through the ESG and the COC program. Um, also, community development serves as the grantee through the uh, continual care program for two transitional housing and one permanent housing. During the reporting period, community development subcontracted with the Fayetteville Metropolitan Housing Authority to manage the Robbins Meadow Transitional Housing Program, which consists of 12 uh, family units. Um, these units are uh, provided for um, homeless families and during the uh, program uh, year, we were able to serve 25 families. 
uh, for the Safe Homes for New Beginnings Permanent Housing Program, Community Development was able to serve six individuals, and this is a permanent supportive housing program for those who are homeless and also have a substance abuse disorder. And um, this year, uh, we just uh, took over serving as the grantee for the Care Center Transitional Housing Program and we were able to provide assistance to 15 families. And through this program, they serve um, victims of domestic violence. Okay. Through a competitive grant um, offered from the state, uh, community development received emergency solutions grant funds for specific homeless activities. Through this grant, community development contracted with DSS and the Salvation Army to provide shelter operations. We also contracted with Center for Economic Empowerment and Development to provide housing stabilization services to those who are homeless and at risk of being homeless. In addition, the ESG funds uh, were used to pay a portion of the cost for the homeless management information system. Okay. Um, in addition to other homeless activities, community development participated in the planning and coordination of the Project Homeless Connect event, which was held May 28th at the uh, Smith Recreation Center. And this event consisted of partnerships among uh, many agencies from both the private and public sector uh, that collaborated to provide a one-stop um, service station to connect those individuals, those, those in attendance to housing and services offered in the community. And these services, of course, range from housing information, health services, mental health services. Um, there are also agencies there to provide personal grooming services as well. And we were able to serve 182 persons during this event. Community development contracts with uh, the Alliance Behavior Healthcare um, to implement the projects for assistance to transition from homelessness, or better known as the PATH program. Uh, this program, again, is managed by the community development and provides assistance to those who are homeless and have a mental health disorder. Uh, the PATH team consists of two social workers um, that, will pro that provides limited case management and connects the individuals to housing and other services as, such as mental health services. Um, the PATH team also has a benefits specialist uh, that helps the um, individuals that are enrolled in the program um, obtain Social Security benefits. And through this program, we were able to enroll 201 persons. So the overall goals and objectives of community development is to provide decent, affordable housing, uh, provide a suitable living environment, and create economic opportunities. And so for the program year, we were able to serve over 6,000 households through these programs. This caper was made available for public review from September the 4th through the 18th. And it was distributed throughout 10 locations countywide. Uh, there were no comments received during this period. And uh, once approved, this caper will be submitted to HUD by September 28th. And for more information, you can call the number listed. Thank you. If there are any, any questions, questions from anybody? Mm -hmm. I have one question. Um, CDBG funding has decreased over the years. Yes, sir. Uh, do you recall how much that's going down per year? It appears, um, I believe the year before, um, it was about a little over 800000 And so um, this year, um, it seems to be decreasing at least almost 100000 per each year. Um, so we try to still make an impact with the little amount of funding that we receive. We try to um, seek, that's where we try to seek other um, partnerships with other agencies to, to leverage you know, those funds and still be able to serve at, at uh, a certain capacity. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No other questions? We will receive this information and we don't need to take any action, do we? We do need to hold the public hearing. Open the public here. Now? 
Yes, sir. I didn't think I read that. I didn't think we were going to have a public hearing. Okay. Any speakers? There are no speakers. Okay. I'm open the public hearing. Close the public right. hearing. Now what would we do? Just receive the report? Receive it as information. Okay. I understand it now. <laughs> we receive it for information. Yeah, it was Mr. Chairman, the next item is an item of business. It's item number four, consideration of approval of interlocal agreement with the City of Fayetteville for conducting economic development activities. Um, included in your packet is a copy of the interlocal agreement between the county and the City of Fayetteville that has been proposed to continue the cooperative effort of conducting economic development activities. As you may recall, at the September 8th meeting, we had an in-depth discussion about the interlocal agreement. In response to one of the questions that was raised, we have expanded the committee that is set up to create the nonprofit corporation. The committee has been expanded to include the past chairman of the Board of Commissioners and the Mayor Pro Tem. To meet the goal of having the new entity in place by January 1st of 2016, the interlocal agreement really needs to be finalized at this meeting because our next action would be to begin creation of the new board for this economic development entity during the month of October. The recommendation this evening is to approve the interlocal agreement with the City of Fayetteville. Okay. Any questions? Any comments? Motion? Uh, I have a question. Has the city approved this yet? They'll approve it at their September 28th meeting. It's going to be presented to them, yes. what we, uh, we assume. They had actually, they had a discussion at their work session on September the 8th, and at the end of that meeting, their intent was to approve it at the end of the month. Okay, thank you. Mr. Fairclough. Mr. Chair, I move for approval of the interlocal agreement. City of Fayetteville. Second. I've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Well, my light lit up. Okay. I can't see your light, Mr. Adams. Oh, I'm sorry. You told me you used that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. But I, 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 I push <laughs> buttons. And I'm Jeanette, way over in the corner. You got her flat taking up all oh, the room I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm out here pushing buttons. Nothing's happening. So that's why. That's, that's quite all right. Marshall. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just two questions all I have is on the staffing, um, we've got executive director, which we don't have, existing industry director. Why do we put the existing there and not on any of the rest of the, we got the uh, recruiting, the administrative, but there's not like we, we put existing in front of them like we were keeping them. Uh, that's for um, industries that I've already located here. There's a position um, right now that is held by Ms. John Kathy Johnson, who's been with the agency for over well over 20 years, and her primary responsibility is to work with the plant managers of existing industry. Well, that just says existing industry director. So I mean, all of these people, recruiting directors there, the research manager, all of those people are still there. Yes, are these are yes, sir, these are filled positions. Right. That's why I'm just saying, why did we put existing in just front of one of them instead of all of them? Or not put it in front of any of them? It's the position title. It's the, is that's what it's called? Yes, okay. that's what it's I called. I got you. Okay. Existing industry. Okay, I got you. <laughs> and under the current proposal, current staff would be transition. I made a, a comment the, the last time, and, and it what didn't seem to be incorporated. Um, subject to whatever the new executive director because mine was not to handicap the new executive director whenever that position is done yes sir that that's exactly how it'll work these the new staff will be subject to the process that is put in place by the executive director <clears throat> that's chosen by the new board okay and so we don't need that in this because I mean that's just not the way that was worded it's just we're going to we keep can them. remove that sentence. We can remove that sentence from this amend, uh, amendment here. Well, that's it. that was somebody's motion, so I guess. Yeah, we got a motion and a second on the floor. Is there a suggestion about how it should? Glenn, I don't mind removing it. I mean, does anybody have any problem with that? I didn't understand what the request is. Is yeah. there a request? 
Is I mean, a, is there an amendment to the motion? What is? What's well, I can on? amend it just to delete that. And I think we're all in the same that they're going to be transitioned over. But mine was not to handicap the handicap the new executive director. So I would just delete that under the current proposal. Current staff would be transitioned, and everything else would 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 basically stay the same. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you accept that. Okay you all accept that? Yes. That's yes. Cool. You don't. Well, is it going to the city in? What, what's the city going to do with it? Good question. What, if we make changes to um, any document this evening, then I would pass that along to the um, city manager. And Marshall, I understand your, your comment. I guess it's the same problem we're going to have if it gets over to the city. What, if they change mm -hmm. something, does it come back here again? Right here. At least exactly. ours is prior to getting to them, and we can have some discussion on that. I mean, they would at least have that before it got to them. But if they get there and change it, I guess it has to come back to us. So Mr. Edge, my uh, second would be to include the amended version okay. uh, consistent with what county manager uh, oh, stated. <laughs> we have a conference committee. You okay with that, Mr. Fairclough? No. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> I, I didn't understand what he was, if you, just give me one second. Mm -hmm. What are you asking us to do? Just to delete that last sentence. What, the last sentence in what? Under staffing. Under staffing. Yeah. Help me get there. Staffing says. What page is Okay. Staff? Under current proposal, current staff will be transitioned to the new economic development area. That's what you want to delete? Yes. Okay. I'll go along with that. Oh, thank you. And I hope the city will go along with it. Yeah. Okay. Everything else stays the same. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll accept, accept that. that. All right. We've got a motion and a second on the floor. Any further discussion? Yeah. I mean. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Item number five is nomination to boards and committees. Cumberland County uh, Emergency Planning Committee, we have two vacancies. Uh, Mr. Chair, yes. I'd like to recommend Mr. Kevin Arada to fill the unexpired term and Mr. Jeffrey um, <coughs> Womble is completing his second term and not eligible, so we recommend Mr. Steve Rogers. Okay, any other nominations? All right. Item six, Mr. Faircloth is appointments to boards and committees. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, at this time, I would move, seeing that there are an equal number of uh, uh, appointments, or rather nominations for available seats, I would move that for the Board of Adjustment, we appoint as a regular member uh, Alfonso Ferguson Sr. For the Fable Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, there are two vacancies, and the nominees are hotels and motels over 100 rooms, Representative Laura Leal, at-large representative uh, Becky D. Kirby. And for the Joint Senior Citizens Advisory Commission, three vacancies, and the nominees are Carrie Berg, Patricia Fairley, and Willie Wright, and my motion would include the acceptance of these by acclamation. Okay, second. Motion and a second to accept all these by acclamation. Any further discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Okay, we have a motion for closed session with the advice of the attorney for attorney client matter. So moved. All right. Second. With a motion and a second for attorney client matter. Any further discussion? All in favor? Unanimous.
Animus. All right. <coughs> What's the wishes of the board? Mr. Chair, I have a motion. Okay. Mr. Chair, I move that the board accept the proposal of Piedmont Natural Gas to purchase Lot 41 in the Cumberland County Industrial Center for $125,000, subject to the upset bid process. Second. Right. Second motion. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. <coughs> Mr. Chair, my second motion is that we approve the settlement of a claim with Jewish Williams in the amount of $5,000 for alleged injuries uh, rising out of alleged fall at jail on September 30th, 2012. Okay. Second. A second of that motion. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. A motion to adjourn. Motion. <laughs> 8 o'clock. Let a me second. send that. Watch football tonight. She we are adjourned. She won't be able to read.